So welcome to another nectar <laughs> nectar hearing about Shila Narottam Das Takus desires and bhajan. Actually, in this verse, which is uh, verse 78 of his Pratana, his desires full of longing, he is revealing how he is meditating. Sakigana Chari Pashe. He is revealing what he is seeing in his Pacha, what he is hearing, what he is feeling. All around the Sakis are desiring their service. Different, different Sakis, we will hear about them. And when they get that service, they are most blissful. So desiring and then getting that service makes them happy. Naratom says, my mentally conceived body is always absorbed in this rasa and constantly wanders through the playgrounds with them. And the subject is the bliss of devotional service. Hey, Ramananda Roy Das, I hope you will help me. I need your help. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, nice to see you, my dear brother. So, the Sakis, Naratam Das Thakur is seeing Sakis, they are getting service. And he is always absorbed in this feelings of also wanting to be with the Sakis. And he is wandering with them. Now the purport of Shriyananda Das Babaji Maharaj, the bliss of devotional service. The blessed author shows that he weeps out of yearning for the sweetness for the sight or seeing the sweetness of the divine pair. He's revealing his crying here, he's weeping. He is really eager. That shows the eagerness that should come by the mercy of those who are already there to us also, the eagerness to cry for our goal, for service to Srimati Radhika. So he's yearning for the vision of the sweetness of the divine pair. Sri Radha's presence brings high waves in the ocean of Shyam's sweetness. And Shyam's form causes an upsurge of Radha's sweetness. Sri Krishna says, although the mirror of Radha's love, of Radha's true, true love is spotless, its clarity increases at every moment. There is no end to the increase of my sweetness. And in front of that mirror, it floats in ever new shape. My sweetness and Radha's love. Jai Gurudev. Yeah, I'm always there. Yes. <laughs> We need yeah. you. I need. <laughs> we love each other, Gurudev. Yeah. It's a uh, anurag. <laughs> My sweetness and Radha's love are constantly in competition with each other. They both increase at every moment, without admitting defeat to each other. 
that is what Krishna says, how he is increasing his sweetness in the mirror of the love of his beloved Srimati Radhika. And Baba is saying that Radha's presence brings high waves in the ocean of Shyam's sweetness. So Shyam is so sweet that he is like an ocean of sweetness. But at the same time, without the waves, the ocean is not so beautiful. So Shimati Radhika, she is bringing the motion of the ocean. She is bringing the high waves into the ocean because her love is so pure and so spotless that it is increasing Krishna's sweetness because she is giving him all the qualities of her love that he cannot find anywhere else and that he is very eager for. And therefore Krishna says, her love and his sweetness, they are in competition. When Srimati Radhika loves Krishna more, he gets more sweet. And when he gets more sweet, she loves him more. So nobody can say which is more ecstatic, her love or his sweetness. And of course, we are in our mandri bath when we are feeling this. And we will say, Together they are the highest. We don't want them separated. We want them together. And when they are together, they are increasing each other's beauty and sweetness and love all the time. And we want to serve them. We want to serve Srimati Radhika when she is together with her beloved. And even also, the Dasis, they bring also new waves with their love. That we have heard a lot of times. And Srila Naratam Das says, My mentally conceived body is always as absorbed in this rasa. So that he is talking about his spiritual body. Externally, we do maybe a little here and a little there, everything in our sadhaka deha. But mentally, that is the practice. We are always eager to serve in our spiritual existence and wandering through the playgrounds with them. Always in our mentally conceived feelings as a dasi to be there with them. This is what Srila Naratom Das Tako will speak about and wants us to inspire to also go in this direction. We continue with a comment. There are sakis and mandris all around the divine pair that increase the ocean of their sweetness with their different kinds of erotic laughter and joking and with their rendering of devotional service. In this verse, Srilatako Mahashai is immersed within the ocean of the Yugala sweetness and he reveals the yearning to be absorbed in the flavors of the devotional service of the divine pair and their girlfriends in his mentally conceived spiritual body. So good if many times you explain to us what does it mean to have a saintly mind I'm just thinking the saintly mind will make it possible that I can receive that spiritual identity which you have given to me. And it's mentally conceived. It is, it's not that, boom, 
now I I I become somebody else. I'm still here in my, my Sada Kadeha, but in my mind, I always connect with them, with the Leelas and with the service that has been given to me in all the feelings and in all the moods that I have been taught by my Gurdi. First, he says, Sakki Gana Chari Pashi Seva Kori Abilashi Se Seva Paramas Sukatare. Mentally conceived. Yes. Mentally, it's very difficult to conceive something without concentration. Two fixed concentrations is required for that. Always mental, mentally thinking. I thinking something else that I conceive. What I think I conceive. Right? Yes. Nowadays, the people, all of us are aware about positive thinking. That is a very popular way how to try to heal our sorrows or anger or any kind of mental problems. But this mentally conceiving is far beyond the modes of material nature. Mm. I mean, really also, we are have to be understand where to live by grace. When mind is decided to be always with family as a mandiri, then we start thinking on and on. Wow, good news. This is positive thinking. In mandiri bhav. <laughs> In dasi bhav. Dasi bhav. It's more easy to think. This is the kindness of Mahajan. Mahajan Gatahatsu Pantha means they are mentally very seriously in her Sachida Deha, just in thinking that I am a Dasi, not Sanchariva. It is very um, concentrated, like you say, and it is a mercy when the mind is ready to conceive it, uh, to be one-pointed mm. and to be really like determined. We have to have a strong determination. German is the only who has a, de a strong determination. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Gurdi. We are just strong in our egos. <laughs> we are very determined to stay in the ego. I can say for myself, my mind, I still have to make a friend and beg my mind to always remember who we are and who we want to be. But they, 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 will, they will give energy there. Mm -hmm. So easy, very easy to conceive. Very easy to conceive. Wow, this makes hope <laughs> good. If you get easy, is, easy is because it's our natural position. Yeah. 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 So they are always boss. They are very good planner and organizer. 
Brahmins. <laughs> no, the Manjaris. Ah, Manjaris. The Das is Gurudev. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, they yeah. always they have to make the the arrangements before they are needed. They are very good organizers and planners, mm. and they need to. Love. They have to know what is coming next, what service we need, what clothes we mm. need, which drinks we need, or what ornaments yeah. we need. Wow! Well, no. That is a transcendental love to the divine, Radha and Mohan. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Really is a beauty. We pray to you, Gurudev, that our minds will always be absorbed in the mm. service of Rindavan and will be naturally conceiving our spiritual identity that is our desire when we are reading together we try to remember and to intensify these desires i read also in srimad bhagavatam krishna to appear to the mentally conceived yes yeah. It was a transfer from Vasudev to Devaki. It was, and that is only happening in Shuddha Sattva. Yeah, mentally. Healthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they also say that Jesus was also mentally conceived by Maria. But, yeah. This is the that divine. is the that is a divine uh, receiving of those you know special and, energies that are ready to manifest on earth or manifest in our minds. This can happen. Why not? We can also conceive. By your mercy, Guru, it will happen. You have the hope, because you have hope in us, we hope also. Mm. Jai Maharajas! <laughs> Jai. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! After a long time, she came back to our home. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. We miss you! <laughs> Waiting here and sitting here in Birkenfeld and nothing, nobody was there. It was <laughs> all in Vrindavan. <laughs> My God. <laughs> so, Jainanda Maharaj and Radha Charan Prabhu, you will like this. Uh, it's verse 78 of uh, Naratam Das Prema Bhakti Chandrika, and he is speaking about. This mentally conceived body, which is always absorbed in rasa and constantly wanders wow. through the playgrounds of Rindavan. And Gurudev was just saying that if our intense desire is there and we get some mercy and the mind is cooperative, it's very easy to conceive mentally that we have to practice and desire. And it also happened with Krishna in Rindavan. Devaki received from Vasudev. And I just said that also in, uh, in Jesus' Leela, in Jesus' pastime, Maria conceived Jesus, her baby, mentally. So interesting subject, how to mentally conceive. This is the subject right now. Prabhupada also writes, we also mentally conceive our diksha. This ah. also. Yes. Please. Yeah, this is very beautiful. Huh? Beautiful. Brauta. Nice point. And uh, Maria was prepared by uh, Gabriel, right? An angel. An angel, and uh, she got the. Uh, 
kind of initiation by by him and uh, she agree and from that time it could happen yeah <clears throat> So, so, so she was totally uh, open to to become the mother of Jesus. So we have also to become totally open when we get the initiation by Guru Dev. Yeah. To give up our old habits. Or we can see on Maria, she give up her moral, uh, all moral, uh, uh, worldly moral uh, Consideration. considerations. Because at that time, you get a baby without a husband that is uh, shameful. Uh, they they uh, could also, at that time, they kill the, the, the women who get pregnant by without men. So she she agreed with this. Even her life, uh, material life, was uh, dangerous. very dangerous, under big danger. So that was not that she say only yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It was uh, a big thing, and she overcome this worldly moral ideas to become the mother of the son. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You know, I want to share last time, maybe you have you, you may not hear I heard uh 10th canto, second chapter about uh, uh Krishna transfer the core of the bus the heart to the heart. Yes, I, I just, was, yes, share, please. How to mentally conceive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Supreme Personality we got to head was transferred from the core of Vasudeva's mind or wow. heart to the core of the heart of Devaki. We should note carefully that Lord was transferred to Devaki not by the ordinary way for a human being but by Diksha initiation. Wow. So that means Gurudeva has Radha Mohan in his heart. Oh. And then Gurudeva, at the time of Diksha, Gurudeva want to, want to transfer this Radha Mohan into the disciples' heart. This, yeah. is, this is real Diksha. But the Narayan Maharaj said, some fortunate devotee, like Gurudev, immediately feel, you know, like a spiritual kind of body, kind of completely feel at that, at that time Diksha with Radha Mohan in, in, in my heart. But uh, some, some person who, who, had, who does not have enough security, Sanskara, it takes uh, some time. It depends on the, our qualification. So, but uh, this Prabhupada mentioned, the addiction is, uh, is transfer, uh, you know, here Krishna to Krishna. Krishna, you know, from De Bas Deva's heart to Devaki's heart. So, Guru Dev's heart in Radha Mohan into this type of heart in wow. Radha Mohan. So, that means Guru Dev give us Ishta Deva. Because Guru Dev has Ishta Deva, and Guru Dev wants to transfer his Ishta Deva into his disciple heart. At that time, disciple feel, oh, now I got Ishta Deva. Very beautiful, Chaitanya. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
In this body, Srila Thakwa Mahashai is immersed within the ocean of the Yugala sweetness. Yeah. And he, re he reveals the yearning to be absorbed in the flavors of the devotional service of the divine pair and their girlfriends in his mentally conceived spiritual body. So this, sorry, this is 78 or? Yes, plus? yes, 78. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we see that the mentally conceived spiritual body is also due to a transfer of of mercy, Gurudev. Jai Ho. Nitai. Jai Nitai. Although God is an all pervading principle, he cannot find nourishment without the aid of his transcendental chit energy. Ba. Similarly, although the love of Sri Radha Krishna is all pervading, it cannot be nourished without the help of the girlfriends. Ba. The sakis and manjaris are the branches and leaves of the wish yielding wine of love for Krishna, personified wow. by Shiradha. Wow. Just as the branches and leaves beautify the vine by surrounding it on all sides, similarly, the sakis and mandris beautify the tamal tree, Shyam, who is entwined by the golden Radha wine by surrounding them. Yeah. It's a nice picture that Radhika is the golden big wine around the black tamal tree, tree, uh, tree Krishna. And on this golden wine of Sri Radhika, there's many branches and leaves who are the sakis and the mandris. Yeah. And they are beautifying Radha and Mohan and the whole atmosphere. With their services. Yeah. Yeah. Lalita, Vishaka, and the other Sakis, and Sri Rupa Manjari, Ratti Manjari, and the other Manjaris surround Sri Shivada Mohan on all sides and always serve. Yeah. Serving them with great, ever fresh yearning. <laughs> if we want to understand the hierarchy of the Sakis and Mandaris in the Divine Pair service, we must first know about the division of their classes. Although Sri Radha has innumerable girlfriends, they are divided into five classes. Yeah. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has written in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Yeah. Irada, the queen of Vrindavan, has five types of sakis. They are called sakis, nitya sakis, prana sakis, priya sakis, 
and Parama Preshta Sakis. And these five are again divided into three classes of moods. The ones who are Krishna Sneadik, who love Krishna most. They are wow. Sama Sneha, those who love Radha and Krishna same. And yeah. Radha Sneha Dik, those who love Radhika most. Yeah. <laughs> Sakis are, for example, Danishta, Vindhya, and others who love Krishna more than Radha. Yeah. They are called Krishna Snehadik. Priya Sakis are Kurangakshi and others. And Parama Preshta Sakis. A Lalita and the so, Ashta Sakis so. who are equal minded towards Radha and Mohan. These are called Samasnaya. Yeah. Although the eight Sakis headed by Lalita and Vishaka have an equal love for Radha and Mohan, they also Cherish a feeling of we are Radhas. Due to their paramount love for Radha Mohan, they seem to show more love for one or the other at certain short periods. Yeah. For, for example, when Radha is in Kandita condition, feeling loving man, when she sees the signs of love and enjoyment of another heroine on Krishna's person, they show loving attachment to Sri Radha. And when Radha is in in uh, uh, man condition, when she's angry with Krishna, with or without a reason, and she disregards Sri Krishna, then they show loving attachment to Sri Krishna. <clears throat> the Prana Sakis and Nitya Sakis are Kausturi, Mani Manjari, and others that have greater love for Sri Radha and are also known as Manjaris. Vrindavan Mahimamrita describes that of all the Sakis, the Radhika or Radha Sneadik Mandris are special. The Manjaris or the maidservants that are exclusively devoted to the service of Sri Radha's lotus feet that are like an ocean of nectar, do not enjoy with Shihari even in their dreams. When Krishna forcibly pulls at their bodies, they cry out, no, no. While my soul of very life, Shiradika watches and loves. This is a quote from Vrindavan Mahimamrita. We must understand that Sri Radharan is laughing here because of the Kinkari's loyalty to her service. Due to this bhavanishta, fixation in a certain feeling, the Manjaris are blessed with the good fortune of attaining confidential services that are not even attained or rarely attained even by the Parama Preshta Sakis like Lalita. What to speak of the ordinary Sakis? So, when I was reading this Gurudev, I get some very strong feelings of gratitude to you 
because this bhava nishta fixation in a certain feeling this can also only be trans to my heart by someone who is in this bhava nishta so i yeah, felt I wow we are so lucky we are so lucky because otherwise to have this bhava nishta is is impossible <laughs> <laughs> if you are happy, then we are happy, Gurudev. <laughs> so this Bhava Nishta, this is what uh, we can say. Nobody is you are telling to me. You are telling. <laughs> Nobody is telling. Wow. <laughs> I am lucky that I can tell this today. <laughs> But I feel after being in Vrindavan with you, that you uh, fixation in a certain feeling, this is really your, your mercy and your speciality that you are giving this to us. This is Radharani mercy. Yes, it's, it's she who was, who was coming through you, through your Gurudev, through all the parampara. <laughs> And this is also the mercy we can say of Anagamandri, because only when we have this bhava nishta, this fixation, then we can, the heart is ready to receive. Otherwise, we don't know what to receive. We are mixing many things. And like this, because we are getting this Baba Nishta and if we are lucky to open the hearts and the minds to become ready to receive that Baba Nishta, then we also can get blessed with the good fortune of attaining confidential services that nobody can really think how they are so sweet and so pure. is not even attained by the Parama Prashta Sakis. Lalita and Vishake, they cannot think to, to massage the Radha Mohan's lotus feet when they are together. It's impossible because Shimati Radhika does not have the free feelings like she has with her Dasis. With her girlfriends, she will feel inhibited. She feels shy and maybe a little bit shameful well, how can I, how can they be here? But we have heard also before, the mandaris are the mental activities of Shimati Radhika. They are personifications that come also in the same category of the feelings of Shimati Radhika's feelings. And therefore she, and even also Mohan, they feel no difference between them and their mandaris. And to come into these feelings, we need bhava nishta, fixation in a certain feeling. And that can only be happen when somebody like you, Gurudev, and Param Gurudev are very merciful in giving these souls who are really struggling in the material world the chance to come to Vrindavan and receive the bhava nishta of your heart. Srimad Raghunath Das Goswami Pad has written in his Braja Vilasa Stava. I take shelter of Sri Radhika's maidservants, headed by Rupa Manjari, that always engage in serving betel leaves, massaging the feet, serving water and arranging for the divine couple's secret meetings. These maidservants are even more dear to the great queen of Vrindaranya, Sri Radhika, than the Prana Preshta Sakis, the girlfriends that are dearer to her than life. And she is therefore not at all shy before them.
Sriman Mahaprabhu and the Acharyas that have taken shelter of his lotus feet have preached this practice of Manjari Bhav to the world. Their holy, selfless and pure service gives Sri Radha Mohan the greatest happiness. And when they see them happy, they also float in an ocean of bliss. Se Seva Parama Sukha Dhare The happiness that they experience while seeing the divine pair making love as they render their service is incomparable. That service we have to learn in service. Who do the service daily is the best. We have to always learn to be in service. Without service, meditation cannot come. Mind will not fix. And how I will conceal his spiritual work. Conceal his spiritual work. Seva, sadhak rupina. Nanda Maharaj will explain. Siddha rupina chadrahi. Seva, sadhak rupina. Siddha rupena chadrahi. Amen. So we are doing uh, uh, devotional service, especially Raga Bhakti, is uh, two kind of service. External service, which is using this sadhaka they have this material body, and also using uh, internal body, spiritual body, uh, which is called uh, Siddha Deha. So this uh, Siddha Deha, Sadaka Deha is mutually connected. So we try to conceive or meditate in a spiritual body. But at the same time, we also behave, behave same behavior, this sadhaka deha, this material body. And this is called the Gurudev called loving, love in action. If in this body, if we don't care as a devotees with love and care, and then if we behave like uh, uh, arrogantly, uh, like uh, controlling nature. Uh, that's not too much noise. So, then, Guru Dev said, we cannot conceive a spiritual body. So, if we practice in this Sadaka Deha, loving feeling and love and care, with other devotees, or, or whoever we Everyone. whoever we, we love your we neighbor. So good they say love with neighbor. Or also family members. Yeah. And then you loving. So if we don't love this 
Niares que passam, ou a, ou a Nia passam, é, we cannot conceive spiritual body. Because spiritual body is Baba Deha. So spiritual feeling conceive this material body. Uh, no, no, sorry, spiritual body. So if we don't have the loving feeling in this sadaka deha, then difficult to conceive loving feeling in spiritual body. So therefore, Guru Dev is teaching us uh, in this sadaka deha, we also care others love and care and loving action so that is bhakti and also same time also we we we, we have to meditate a spiritual body which is given by uh, Ladarani and, and Guru, Guru Dev. So this both things is we have to practice this two way. That is a kind of uh, kind of shelter. Like our Guru Dev is like Chatrahi, like uh, umbrella. So, if there is a heavy lane, then difficult to walk. Our, our clothes will be wet. So Guru Dev is, is our shelter. So we may face so many difficulties. But the Guru Dev is like umbrella. Guru Dev is helping us. And uh, protecting us. So this uh, couple of days, Guru Dev is totally Surrender means offer our whole swag to the Guru Dev. Guru Dev could take care of this whole swag. This poison. So, but he kindly. Drink, but uh, he cannot drink, and it is a heart because heart Radha Mohan there. So in this place, the throat, the stupid, like Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva drank poison, churning ocean of milk. So they want to, demon, demigods, they want to have nectar, amrita, from the tuning the ocean of milk. At the same time, poison also coming up. But the demigods, demons, they don't know what to do this poison. So they ask Lord Shiva, please take care. Then Lord Shiva drank this poison. But uh, Lord Shiva is so wonderful. This poison, this stay in this throat. Then this part become blue. This part become blue. 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 Like blackish. Blue. Blue. Ah, blue. 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 So similarly, Guru Dev is so merciful. He can take care of disciples for ego. A smash for ego. Also, he can 
he can drink this poison. So therefore, Guru Dev sometimes suffers suffering due to our our misbehavior, our due to our false ego. So this is so good Dev is so merciful, giving us the seva of the sadaka deha, also siddha deha. This both we should practice. Best practice, practice place is in Vrindavan. Because Vrindavan is full of uh, is Vrindavan protecting by Yoga Maya. And Radhika's put the dust there. Always Radharan is protecting us. So therefore, Rupa Goswami recommended. So, live in Vrindava and try to save in Vrindava and meditate in Vrindava. But if we could, if we, if we cannot. Mentally, we should live in Vindava. Then our endeavor will be success. Successful. Thank you. Thank you. Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati Pad has written in his Brindavan Mahimamrita. All the happiness experienced within the kingdom of God cannot be compared to even a drop of the happiness. The Sakis attain when their eyes drown in the ocean of Sri Radha Mohan's love games. After this, the blessed author says, E mana tanu mora, E rase sada bora, Nara tama sada i vihare. May my mind body, my mental conceived body, the words my mentally conceived Siddha Deha, attain the good fortune of being immersed fellows of Manjari Bhav and always wander through the playgrounds of the divine pair. Constantly rendering service to them. The practitioners of Gaudiya Vaishnavism establish their self esteem into this mind body or spiritual body given by Shiguru and mentally render service to Shri Mohan throughout the periods of the day. That is expertise in Raganuga Bhajan. I have a question to this Gurudev. Is it really possible? to be fully there and to be fully here at the same time, it seems to be difficult. Without practically, we cannot understand. We have to do the practically realization. That realization is important 
in Raga Bhakti, I have to see it. I give time for many things. Why not to give this time for this? Because this Siddha Deha is my soul body. And if anything will go, my soul body is only going what he practice. One day I have to leave this material body and die. This is the fixed by the Creator. So I will die and that time I will fix it. It's possible. What is my practice? That time that will come to me. Not that I don't practice something and that will come to me. This practice, what I can do to be in a spiritual body, to live, that body has to go the place. What I will do it. If not, then Prabhupada say that I will become dog. A bird. Human body again, I cannot get it. If my good karma sukriti is there, then I can get it. And again, my nature will be same. So if I want to change my nature, bad habits, I have to start now. When this body will leave me, this body is to practice good thing, positive thing, because in this body I can practice it. And when I will be out of this body, then is a ghost body. If you are interested to become ghost, pig, dog, cat, where you will love, you will become that. No problem. But it will take long, long time that to see a dog body, cat body, pig has to come so many lives in different, different body because they also not want to leave their body and children. So you have to decide if you have, we have a human body, what to do? If it's not real, why not I will try it? One day I have to do it. Why not I try from now? And if I got it by the centrally words, then in the centrally mind is telling, why not I will do, see it? Only I have to experience it. Is it possible that my good luck is there? If it's Centrally mind, centrally person is telling why they will lie. They will lie sharing. If this is not sharing in the realization, this book cannot come out like this. So what is that? That has to only not to think from the mind. We have to realize that is my advice. This is the process, and they are doing first my sensory mind will happen, my demoniac effects will go out, and then maybe. Mercy can come of Radhika to me and I will receive in this book also. Why not? We can try. What is the use of trying something? What is creating suffering to me? And I see who only do the practice, they have no problem. And who realize they have no problem, because what 
what he think it happening without any effort this is not surprising without doing nothing people start knowing you and people are liking you and what you think is happening is automatically happening to your life what you want what i am doing efforts to do never happen but now it happening why because this time you are doing and i'm watching that and people think that i am doing but i know you are doing that <laughs> this is centrally mind that is that believe this is the beauty of deep and realization is a divine process we have to make my mind centrally this is only making my mind centrally how much reason will change how much circumstances will change is unseen out of surprise this is simply a surprise no there is more high the practitioners of gaudiya vaishnavism established their self esteem into this mind body or spiritual body given by shri guru and mentally render service to shri radha mohan through the eight periods of the day that is the expertise in raga nuga bhajan in the external practitioner's body and devotional practice of hearing chanting praising deity worship and so on are performed and in the mentally conceived spiritual body one constantly renders mental devotional service again i know this in the external practitioner's body the nine devotional practice of hearing i mean chanting and that praising like deity worship and so on are performed and in the mentally conceived spiritual body one constantly renders mental devotional service so means while we are doing hearing and chanting and deity worship we also connect to our mentally conceived spiritual bodies and is doing love in action means rendering mental devotional service to radha mohan that is the beauty we have no mental material body how i can listen to it what could i i didn't understand this if i am not material body i become ghost and i how i listen you yes we need a body to be able to do hearing and chanting and remembering yes yeah, chanting to why chanting to make should the get the pure clean my part because my force ego is so heavy to me that he no give rest to me how I'm sleeping all the time. I don't know because you are very tired. Because the mind makes you very disturbed. 
my body make you too much pain, so you relax, so you are sleeping. Relaxation make you to rest. So you want to relax by thinking, so rest. Resting is the way. If there is no problem, you can rest it. But if you have a problem, there is no rest. And if a bundle of problems are there, how I can rest it? The wise person, centrally mind, knows, knows so the bundles of problems. Any problem come, they throw it out. And no one wants to be in the problem. They're not hold in the mind because I is the place for what? Mentally conceived body and spiritual service to Radha Mohan. Uh, and how it will be when he's free? Hmm? Then when he's free. The mind free. must be free of all other uh, problems and identifications. Sri Radha, Javan, Shamir, Sitka. I practice that translation. Okay. Very nice. We are free without become free and not carrying too much bundle in head. One is a false ego, one is my created problem. <laughs> one is my false ego and one is created problem. No God give to create that problem, but I create. And what the Maya Shakti is working, to, to live in the ego, then Maya Shakti you will be in clutch of Maya Shakti. Mm -hmm. That I don't want to live because that is my body identity. We say your body is there, you have to not live, you are the best friend. And you want to live the best friend. I give you the sense of enjoyment. Are it is the fact your senses you can enjoy it, you come for dying it one time. Who knows after that? We eat, drink, and be pretty. You come for enjoyment. I say, I'm a soul. Are who's how you know that you are so? No, no, I'm so. Are wrong? These are all wrong. What about God? Is also wrong. Only you come for one time in this body, be merry, eat, drink, and be merry, because I am your. God and boss and everything, because this false ego is I to find this. And that I believe, but I don't believe in the soul, and I don't want to believe in the creator of the soul. I don't want. Then we want to suffer more because we become Buddhist who don't believe in the soul and in creator of the soul and this. what about love and other things? How you will love something if you don't believe in the soul and creation of the uh, who is a love creator of me, who is the sphere of me? How you can do? Material body can love, they can do sex. Time every moment doing that. And if you want to live, 
you can live in living thing. In the soul is living, he never die. We can live in that. That's a living. And every moment I want to die to to close friendship with my false ego. Every moment, every night, every day, they want to kill me. Nothing else. <laughs> they, they are the ghosts, good. If they are the Buddhas, eight Buddhas are already in their Maya Shakti of Krishna. Mahabhutas, not Bhutas. You see, in Srimad Bhagavat, is the second step. Mahabhutas. One Bhuta, one ghost makes so crazy mind, and eight Bhutas are there. And I want to be with that to suffer more. Hare come out, know the soul, make your saintly mind, think on positive. Why you want to be negative? Because you. Bhuta, Mahabhuta, the active very much. Where you will go? I want to go lower body. <laughs> okay, what is that? Anything? No, else, but I have no real desire for that. Right? Last day today. Huh? Yes, so good for you. <laughs> yes, good <Kurti. laughs> No problem. No problem. They are many. Everywhere are many. They want to suffer. I also want to suffer. But the day by mercy of Santali Kripa, Guru Kripa, I realize that I am living in your century as Satan. You are every day hammering me. <laughs> I don't want to do other This is all your must. So coming from you, Radha. <laughs> you always destroy all the Bhutas who are flying around our heads. <laughs> 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 You're the ghost pastor, Gurdi. <laughs> <laughs> Ego pastor, ghost pastor, same. The blessed author says, Ei rase sadabara, meaning that those who have established even the slightest self esteem into their spiritual body can understand that an astonishing relish is present in it. Astonishing good. And if time when the astonishing coming to you, realization, you are in the right path. Why astonishing is coming? In the right path. Ghost path, demoniac path, no astonishing. No. Okay, when they catch the ghost, be sure that they will kill me. There is no nothing astonished now. <laughs> they catch it to kill us faster. What good if they catch it too? Kill us, kill us, kill us. Kill us, kill us. Ah. Killers, can you make high points of you? Killing! The killing, so they catch me. Living, dying person is a killing, eh? Mm. I'm living, but I will behave like a dead person. Mm. And the living person, they are dying, eh? 
but they will behave like a living person. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of living and feeling. Those who have established even the slightest self-esteem, the slightest self-understanding into the spiritual body can understand that an astonishing relish is present in it. And you explain that the, re the astonishment comes also through the realizations because they come by mercy and through the spiritual self otherwise how can they come from where do they come they cannot come through the mind or through the senses they come only by the mercy of receiving by the spiritual self right Udi? that is what you said <laughs> <laughs> what i cannot do it happens this is surprising what i cannot do Mm -mm. It happens. Mm -hmm. That surprise. Without no efforts, it happens. That surprise. Chatrahi. <laughs> umbrella. Surprising umbrella. <laughs> Mystical umbrella. <laughs> what to speak of those who became so fortunate to be able to establish their self-esteem into their spiritual bodies and thus render mental service to Shirada Mohan. According to the Gospel. I have nothing to do, nothing I have to expend money. I have to do my self service. Mine only have to be free from the ghost. Mine has to be from the false ego and relax and think that. And the mind is catching that we are not free, so you are not doing. Only make the mind free. Mm -hmm. What you will bring yourself, <coughs> you come. When you come, at that time your hand was closed, you bring everything. <laughs> but when you will go, this hand will be open and there is no pocket. Dead body, clothes has a no pocket. You cannot bring it. Kafan, they say in Hindi, there is no pocket in Kafan. So you can bring anything in the pocket also. <laughs> you can have your mental siddha there full of pockets of spiritual gems, Guru. <laughs> that is going, and that will be always in the service when you are living in this body. That time you will start service. And this practice, not nobody can change it. That is the His spiritual body goes, divine body goes in divine area. Material body goes because he's a garbage, goes to the fire or in the graveyard. Because it becomes garbage, because soul is not there. It's not useful for this material man. They cannot use us. You will be not useful when you are only material. But so they make you garbage. Mm, yes, that point always to understand. <laughs> then they say, God is the truth. God is the truth. Ram, Nam, Satya, 
Only the name of the God is the truth. Only the name of the God is the truth. Other, why not I understand now, yes, and make the truth of that? This is the truth. Other thing is all just shadows. Jai Ho, Guru. According to the Goswamis, our Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, all our Goswamis, city, the spiritual perfection, is just around the corner, just so easily attainable for those who simply identify themselves with their spiritual bodies. That is a corner. Around the corner. <laughs> And we don't want to make life easy because it's in karma. We want to make life different, wrong way. And it is the karma. Karma means which room you are living is near to your karma. Any karma you watch, you will get it. It's a karma to your room. Nothing you have to go out from this room. <laughs> this room, where is material body room? Some corner is hiding. No need to go out from that. Research something. No need to practice this. So my and you will understand this. When the day will come, my, you will realize and help me to change my life. <laughs> Therefore, the practitioners of Raga Nuga Bhakti must give up their awareness of their material body that consists of five gross elements and become absorbed into their mind bodies or spiritual bodies. Then they become bridge party. Yes. Uh. <laughs> During any kind of devotional practice, the practicing devotee must always be aware of this basic principle. Yeah, in the basic. This will not make you to the final goal. This is the starting. If you do this, then your path is correct. What Guru they give? They give the path. Sadhu Sastra Guru Vakya. What is the Guru Vakya? What way I go, I can show that way to you. You can also walk and make your life easy. No need to make your life complicated and suffering. You took, took the path. To be happy, peaceful, loving, caring, and dancing, to be a man for, for realizing every day beautiful things, not to suffer, not to die, not to be a garbage. Done, good. Done. Yes. <laughs> My guitar and time is also there. Can you explain? <laughs> I want to listen to that. If you can search Sadhu Sastra Guru, what is there? 
Oh, and Prema Bhakti Chandra Tagore Dev. Yes, I will check. I want to understand. Sadhu Shastra Guru Vakya. Uh, 115. What? Tweets. You found it? You found it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Which verse? I think 12. 12. Uh, say, uh, this is Prem Bhakti Chandra 115. Oh, it's the page. It's not the verse. It's 12. Verse 12, you said. Yeah, yeah, but where it? Ah, Shadu Shastra Guru Vakya, Rida Ye Kriya Akya, Satata Pasibo Prema Maja. Karmi Gyani Bhakti Heen, Ihake Koribo Bin. Naratama e tatvagaji. In my heart, I will see the words of the saints, the scriptures, and the Guru as one and the same. Thus, I will always float in prem. I will keep away from fruitive workers, mental speculators and other kinds of non-devotees. This truth is proclaimed by Naratama. Should I go on, Gurudev? Yes, yes, I want to understand. The words of Sadhu, Shastra and Guru. Srila Naratam Thakur Mahashai has described the nice practice of nine types of devotion. The saints and the scriptures have described these nine types of devotion in many different ways. For example, Srimad Rupa Goswami Pad has extended these nine types of devotion into 64 types in his book, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. <laughs> Again, all the sadachar, the rules of devotional purity that must be followed by the sadakas, and whatever relations they have with everyday bodily affairs, must be followed according to the words of the sadhus, shastras, and guru by the sadhakas who desire their own welfare. This has been described in the first half of this tripadi. Previously, it has been written Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Ridaya Korai Mahashakya. Through this couplet, it is learned that Sri Guru's words about rules and prohibitions must be firmly kept within the heart. Here one may ask, what if Sri Guru Dev gives an unjust order, Ungerecht. which is not in accordance with the teachings of the saints or scriptures, or which is not favorable to Bhaja? Are such orders to be followed without consideration? To erase such doubts, the blessed author says, Sadhu Shastra Guru Vakya Ridoye Koriya Aikya. When the words of Sri Guru are compatible with the scriptures that help one to attain the personality of Godhead, and the words of the virtuous Sadachari Sadhus, then they must be followed without considerations. 
When one has taken shelter of a bona fide guru who follows the scriptures and the sadhachara, then his words. Or his orders can never be contrary to the words of the scriptures and the saints. Therefore, scriptures like Srimad Bhagavat have advised us to take shelter of the lotus feet of a Sri Guru who is Shabda Brahma Nishnat, learned Vedic scriptures. And Parabrahmi Nishnat are devoted to the personality of Godhead so that such dilemmas can never take place in the spiritual life of a sadhaka. Anyway, if Sri Guru Dev gives some unfair order which is contrary to the words of the sadhus and the shastras, the sadhaka should think he is testing him, wanting to know how loyal the sadhaka is to the sadhus and the shastras. Thus, he will discard that order and anxiously pray to the lotus feet of Shiguru. If Sri Gurudev still insists in his unfair order to the disciple, the disciple should know it is a hard test of Sri Guru. And considering himself to be unable to understand such a test, but keep a distance and do bhajan in allegiance to the sadhus and the shastras. He should still not act according to the Guru's instruction if they transgress the words of the scriptures and the saints. Nor should he show disbelief or disrespect towards Sri Guru. There are many Vedic scriptures some of them mainly describe fruitive activities or non-dualistic philosophies, philosophies and even in the devotional branches of the scriptures, many different means are described to attain the Lord. It is impossible for a sadhaka to practice all these different ways. Therefore, whatever the saints of one's own tradition who follow the scriptures of one's own tradition say, must be accepted by a sadhaka who aspires for his own welfare, provided they are compatible with the words of the scriptures and the guru. Wow. If you like, I can make in short words also. Yeah, I want to listen. No, I have to this 64. Uh, what we have to follow, I have found in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita a verse. Like this, what we think it's it's uh, impossible to make it possible. Yeah, we can read. If one worships the Lord on the path of spontaneous love and goes to Vrindavan, he receives the shelter of Rajendra Nanda, the son of Nanda Maharaj. We can see the spontaneous love and goes to Vrindavan. And uh, Prabhupada is explaining this in the purport. In all, there are 64 items listed for the rendering of service unto Krishna, right? That is also we reading just now, Suniti reading. And these are the regulative principles enjoined in the Shastras and given by the spiritual master. 
right? So, right. 64 items given by the spiritual master and written in the Shastras. There is no question about this. It is there. One has to serve Krishna according to these regulative pr principles, right? Right. But if one develops spontaneous love for Krishna, as exhibited in the activities of those who live in Fajabhumi, one attains the platform of Raganuga Bhakti. One who has developed this spontaneous love is eligible for elevation to the platform enjoyed by the inhabitants of Rajabhumi. In Vrajabhumi, there are no regulative principles set forth for Krishna's service. Amazing. Rather, everything is carried out in spontaneous, natural love for Krishna. So this is natural, our natural position. There is no question of following the principles of the Vedic system. <laughs> Prabhupada said, such principles are followed within this material world. As long as we are staying in the material consciousness, in the material world, we have to follow this. <laughs> And as long as one is on the material platform, he has to execute them. However, spontaneous love of Krishna is transcendental. It may seem that the regulative principles are being violated. It may seem. But the devotee is on the transcendental platform. And such service is called gunatriya or nirguna, for it is not contaminated by the three modes of material nature. This is the explanation of Srila Prabhupada. So it is both is true. Uh, we have to follow the 64 principles like described and Suniti just wrote. As long as we are on the material platform, we have to follow. Gurudev will teach this, but at then in that moment we leave this material platform, come on the Rajabhumi platform. We can give up this for 64. There is no question of regulative principles. And it may seem that the regulative principles are being violated, but the devotee is on the transcendental platform. So it is a complete change of the of everything as in that moment we change the platform and come in a spontaneous love. And this is Raganuga Bhakti then. Huh?